Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basic setup for some path following techniques. It's quite similar to the video that I posted earlier today on the missile tracking that I had worked on. The difference being is that this is a really great simplified way to set up tracking without having to use any Python programming. Now, I did it in Python because my interest is doing more math and it's for one of my future 3D math tutorial series. So I basically had to do the mathematics behind the scenes to do the same thing. But if you're just an artist, animator type, and want to try and make your own games or simulations, there's no need to do any of that. You can just use the logic bricks. So what I have in here is this simple thing. It's just set up, if I run this with uh, pressing P, I have the arrow key set up. So if I move forward, up and down, and the left and right arrow key move this thing sideways, just so you have a way to view what's going on. So if you look at the logic bricks under game logic, you can see if I go control up arrow, you can see there's just each keyboard sensor up, down, left, and right, and that's tied to this motion actuator that's going this direction is x, negative x, y, negative y, like this. All right. So, but now the easy part then is you know, what takes mere moments, and that's what really makes Blender super powerful. I can't even tell you how many things that are in Blender that make it so powerful and enticing, and this happens to be another one of them. So, so I have a second object in the scene, and I want this object to track this, just like I had what my missiles tracking the missiles. So I just come into here, and I go into the game logic with this as well, and I have to have an always sensor. So I'll get an always sensor, and and at, for the actuator, I just want a steering actuator. Where is it down here? There's my steering actuator like this. Now you can use an AND controller, but uh, anymore you can just connect directly to it and it'll add an AND controller by default. It just kind of saves one little step in there. So in this case, there's seek, flee, and path following like that. So we'll just leave it at seek. We're going to seek another object, right? So I'll put in here and I'll go pick up that object that was, oh, I think it's called cube, because I know this one in here is called cube.001, and I base that on there, and that's connected, that's connected like this. So then I just come back into here like this, and I'll start it. And there it is, there's that cube hunting it down, and you notice it even maintains its orientation towards that object. Wherever it goes, it's tracking away. So it takes mere moments. The game, these logic bricks are really powerful. They get more powerful all the time. And it's all about you being creative. So it really does, it's becoming more and more what favors the artists and the animators more and more, especially the artists, because you guys are the ones who can put together all the great artwork and the nice high resolution texture maps. And, you know, and then all this mechanics behind the scene, you don't even have to worry about it. It's just quite simple. So I just wanted to point that out in case you weren't aware of it because it's powerful and fun. And that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.